Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to another What's for Dinner, although this one is gonna look a lot different. I've been having some back issues for about a month now where I'll have two to three really bad days and then a day or two where I'm able to do things and then I'm back down. So because of that, I really have not been cooking much and Steven has stepped in to cook some of the meals for us and I decided on the days that I was able to just pick up my camera and film him doing so, I would do that. So we've got a couple of meals that he is preparing for us um, and then I'm going to show you a dessert, which I'm about to make now, but that will be at the end of the video and it's a great summer dessert, so make sure you stay tuned. It is Saturday right around lunchtime and we are going to, we're just kind of cooking out of the fridge this weekend, just what we already have for snack. We've been eating these queso on the border chips with this that we found at Aldi. It's really good. You can see we've almost finished that. We'll pour some more in there. Steven is chopping up some of these chicken sausages. Again, another Aldi find. It's these right here. They are limited edition or for limited time, I guess, during the summer. We've never tried them, so we will give you our opinion of those. And we're gonna do, we're gonna cook them up and then we're gonna kind of scramble them with some eggs as well. I've got our eggs here ready to go. This is just a quick and easy lunch. And then I am thawing out some chicken for tonight for dinner. And we've got some more fun recipes to share with you then. Okay, so we're gonna try something that I saw on QVC. This cheese grater is more than just a cheese grater, but it's from QVC and I watched a little video on it and they made hash browns with it. Just putting a potato in here and using the grater. So that's what we're gonna give a shot. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna try. I'd say that works. Hash browns with lunch. I'm just drying these off just to get all that extra moisture off of them. But hey, oh, I think I'm gonna grate up some cheese to go along with this. We're gonna have some Colby Jack cheese along with our hash browns. Do it to it with the chef skills. If I did that, they would be everywhere. <laughs> oh, like that. Awesome. That would that's a Mandy move. <laughs> Several of you have asked me if this is hard to clean. It is not. It is so easy. It all pretty much goes into the dishwasher. So I'm gonna show you how I disassemble it and it all goes in the dishwasher. So you just unscrew this knob right here. And what that does is takes the entire handle off. And you just push out the attachment, pull off anything, clean it out. And then this goes right into the dishwasher. And there's two other attachments that come with this, a more finely grater one and then like a mandolin slicer type thing. And in order to get this part out, you can't slide it out unless you release this. So I'm gonna go ahead and release that. What that does is locks this into place and it locks this or suctions this down to the um, counter space. So now this will go in the dishwasher and I don't have to wash this. This just goes back up in the cabinet and I usually don't try and break it. I usually don't wash this either. I wipe it down, but it doesn't go in the dishwasher. But the rest of this, this little pusher thing, this, and this will all just go in the dishwasher. Okay, he's browned up the chicken sausages pretty well, and now he's just adding in a little bit of butter before he adds our eggs. So he had the heat at like medium high, and now he's turned it to more like medium low. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, and we're gonna add in the eggs. Yeah. I'm excited about this 
baby. I love it when we just come up with creations like this. And a lot of times I don't film it just because we don't know how it's gonna turn out. So <laughs> y'all are gonna be guinea pigs with us today. But I think this one's gonna be a good one. So now he's just gonna put a, um, a lid on this just so that everything even on the top will get nice and cooked through. We're just gonna let it hang out on medium low to low. We're about to get started on our hash browns. Super hot pan. Very hot pan. A couple of tablespoons of butter. We've got our hash browns. We've got this. Ooh, nature seasoning would be good on this too, baby. Oh, yeah. oh look, right in the front. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the nature seasoning and just kind of pour some in there. Yes. And then Mix it up. Mix it up really good. So nature season, if you're new here, I use this a lot in our house. We don't get um, Mrs. Dash. I grew up with my mom always using nature seasoning, or nature season, I think is what it's called. Yeah. It's so good. It's very similar to Mrs. Dash, though. I'll flip these bad boys. Look at that! Yes! I'm getting the Waffle House vibes, baby. <laughs> we love us some awful waffle. That's what we call it. What do y'all call Waffle House? Do y'all eat there? I didn't eat there until, pretty much until Steven introduced me to it a long time ago. But now it's like one of our favorite places to go. So at Waffle House, this would just be covered, right? Because that means just adding cheese to it. So. You, your normal order at Waffle House is what? Smothered, covered, chunked, and peppered. Something like that, yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Ooh, and we have um, diced pickled jalapenos that we could always add to this too, babe. Yep, that's true. Okay, I've got some more butter here for you. Okay. So right as Stephen finished up our hash browns, our eggs are ready to go. Oh yeah, they've come loose from the pan and everything. Yep. Sweet, let's eat. new salsa my word this is gonna be good okay in full disclosure he's already taken a bite and he made <laughs> he said mm. I said oh wait I didn't grab the camera so go ahead I don't think I'm gonna do that again okay you could try <laughs> the sausage is really good I love, I love that there's so much in the sausage. Like, I didn't have to add anything to the eggs, like onions or anything like that. Yeah. There's so much, there's so many other things in this sausage. Yeah. Tons of flavor in this. And then the egg is cooked perfectly. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you gotta try our Waffle House oh. uh, hash browns over there. Get into these. I'm so excited that we know how to make hash browns now. Like, that grater just makes it so much easier. Yeah. All right. Can't be eating this too often. No, can't eat that too often. <laughs> it's definitely a treat. <laughs> well, this is kind of our lunch on a Saturday afternoon, but this would be a great dinner option as well. So we're just gonna include this in a what's for dinner. It's just a little bit different style. It's a couple of hours later and we are gonna go ahead and start marinating our chicken. Um, I had three pieces of chicken that were really thick. So Steven cut them in half and we are gonna be marinating them in some olive oil. And then I just picked this up at Sam's and I'm excited to give it a try. So we're gonna be grilling out chicken tonight, but I wanna go ahead and marinate it for a little while first. Is that everything you're gonna be adding, babe? So he decided he would add a little bit of salt and pepper too. Y'all, this smells so good. This is gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna cover it with this press and seal wrap and it's gonna marinate for a couple of hours. Okay, it's been several hours and Steven's got the grill ready. 
and we are gonna grill out our chicken and I'll take y'all inside in just a second and show you the pasta salad that I made a little bit earlier today. Okay, tonight for sides, we're gonna have this pasta salad. I had some rotini on hand, and then I had several veggies that I needed to use up. So I had an English cucumber, um, some cherry tomatoes, and a yellow bell pepper, and then of course some feta cheese, and I sprinkled it with a good bit of nature seasoning. And I added this. Normally we use Olive Garden Italian dressing, and we do have that on hand, but I'm trying to use this up first. But I made it several hours ago, it's been in the fridge. So now I need to add some more of this because this soaks into it really well. And then we also have some cantaloupe left that we need to eat up, so that will be a side as well. Don't those look good? I am so excited. Oh, they smell good. All right, let's plate this up. like that? I got a good kick of spice in there. That was really good. Good. Yeah. So you like that Lots spice blend? I do. Okay. I think it's delicious. Cole, have you tried it yet? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, am I not supposed to be filming you? What's going on? So say that again because I started to... It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh. I did something bad. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about the pasta salad? Have y'all tried that yet? That's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, it's so easy. We do this a lot during the summer. And it's a little bit different each time I make it. So this is definitely spicy. It's so, not okay. overpowering. Okay. Well, not for me. I don't think it is anyway. Cole what's says nice no. Okay. Because you've got the, the cantaloupe. Yeah, to kind of calm everything down. Yeah, the coolness of the, the cantaloupe and the salad. Yeah. Definitely nice mixture of uh, sides there. Sweet. But it's not too spicy, Cole? Because mm -hmm. Cole is more sensitive to spice. Um, so it's it's good. All right, I'm going to get started to eating. Gracie. Okay, if you hear Steven talking in the background, He's at work, so he's on the phone right now, but I am going to make our dessert to finish out this week's West for dinner. And the dessert that I'm making is a brand new one to me. I'm really excited about it. There's two parts to it, but you don't have to do two parts, and I'll explain that in a minute. But it's called a no-bake golden Oreo lemon dessert. It looks really good, and I'm excited to give it a try. The first thing we're gonna do, though, is we're going to make homemade lemon curd. So if you don't want to do that, it only takes 10 minutes. So it, again, something I've never done. I've got the recipe printed here and I'm gonna have the recipes linked below. But if you don't wanna do the lemon curd, you can use lemon pie filling, apparently, according to the recipe. I didn't even look for lemon pie filling just because the lemon curd recipe looked so simple. So we're gonna do that first and then we will do the rest of the dessert. And then it has to go in the fridge for like eight hours. So. We'll be back later to give it a taste test for you. Here's all the ingredients we're gonna need to make the lemon curd. I've got four tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've diced, three large eggs, three-fourths a cup of sugar. We're gonna need just a pinch of salt, and we'll need the zest of one of these lemons and then a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. I may not need all of this. I may need more. I've got lemon juice in a um, bottle that I can substitute if I need more, but. Anyway, that's all we need, and this whole process only takes like 10 minutes, so let's get started. Okay, I've got a medium saucepan. I've already cracked the three eggs in here. 
then I add in our three-fourths a cup of sugar. Just a pinch of salt, our half a cup of lemon juice, and our zest of a large lemon. Don't you love an old kitchen? <laughs> It's always squeaking. We're gonna whisk all of this together until it's smooth and then it's gonna go over low heat. So I'm gonna put it on about medium low just to get it to come up to temperature. And it says to stir it constantly with a wooden spoon until it starts to thicken. And this is gonna take about four or five minutes and then we will be adding in our butter. Okay, I did turn the heat up just a little bit more. Not a lot, but it wasn't thickening and I don't know how much it's supposed to thicken so we're just gonna go with it okay so it says turn it all the way to low let me show you that turn it all the way to low and add in your butter so I'm gonna add this in and we're just gonna stir until smooth This is this could be a total fail. I'm not sure. It did not thicken as much as I was kind of hoping it would, but I'm hoping that as it cools down, it will thicken. I need one cup of it for the recipe, and then the rest of it I'm just going to put in the fridge, and I will Google a recipe that I could use with a cup of lemon curd. <laughs> not really sure what to do with it, but I am going to stick this in the fridge for a little while. Some of you who have made this may be screaming at me right now that I did something wrong. It, if you know what I did wrong, or if I even did anything wrong, let me know below, but I'm gonna put this in the fridge and see if it'll thicken up even more before we move on to make the recipe. This could be a total fail. We shall see. Okay, so now we're going to start making this. Everything that I need is sitting right here. They do make the golden lemon Oreos, but I thought with as much lemon that's going in this, I thought that might be overkill. So I just got the regular golden Oreos and I think the recipe does just call for the regular, but. If you really love lemon and you want to up it, get the lemon ones. Um, I got the family size only because my store didn't have the regular size. So we're going to need these. We're going to crush these up. This is going to be like our crust. You need a 3.4 ounce thing of instant pudding. Um, I did. I went with the lemon. She said you could go with coconut, cheesecake, vanilla, or lemon. So I just went ahead and went with lemon. I've got our lemon curd here. I've got a cup of milk. It calls for non-fat milk. I only had 2%, so that's what we're going with three tablespoons of melted butter, and about 12 ounces of whipped cream. This recipe makes a nine by nine pan. I've got an eight by eight, I'm pretty sure. So it's not gonna quite be right, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with it. This whole thing might be a mess. I don't know, because I don't know about this lemon curd. But what I'm gonna do is take some of these golden Oreos and put them in a bag and use my rolling pin and crush them up. You want them coarsely crushed, you don't want to finely crush them. Okay, so now that we've got these coarsely crushed, we are going to pour in the melted butter and just kind of incorporate it in here and then we're gonna line the bottom of the pan with this. So I've got my spatula, I'm just going to kind of press this all along the bottom. It does say in the recipe that this is not going to be a crust in the traditional sense. It's definitely loose and not compacted. So we're just gonna go with that. Looks like I kind of guesstimated the right amount, yay. Now we're gonna do the pudding mix and the milk. So you do the entire thing of the pudding mix and only one cup of milk. And we're gonna whisk that together and just let it sit here in this bowl for just a couple of minutes. Okay, now that this has been sitting, we're gonna add in about a cup to a cup and a half of the whipped cream and just mix that all together. And then we are going to spread this over our bottom crust. Now I've got about 16 more cookies in here. I'm going to crush these and I'm gonna put half of those on top of this. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got half of it there, and now I'm going to get a cup of this whipped cream and mix it with the lemon curd in here, and then it will go on top of this. There's a lot of this, so I don't know that I'll need all of it, but I'm gonna spread this over top of the pudding and the crushed Oreos. I can tell you that it smells really good. So I'm hoping it tastes as good as it smells. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is just put some regular whipped topping on top and then the remaining crushed Oreos will go on top as well. So let me open this up and we'll top it off and then we're gonna cover it and it's gonna go in the refrigerator for eight hours. Doesn't it look so good? I don't know why it has to chill for eight hours, I guess to thicken up that whipped cream that was mixed with the lemon curd, but it's gonna go in the fridge and we will try it tonight. Okay, it's been pretty much all day. It's time to give it a try. I'm really excited. Well, it's definitely thickened up throughout the day. Give it a shot. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Not overpowered lemon flavor. Very smooth and creamy. Mmm, that's good. Maybe you need a bite. Mm. You like that? It's good. It's very light. Mm -hmm. It's not very rich. Mm -mm. I think that whipped cream that's in there just really kind of lightens all the flavors. Yeah. It's really tasty. I love the cookies too. You like the cookies too? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you mm. give this one a thumbs up or two thumbs up? Yeah. I might treat the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to, you do the closing. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks. You know the drill. You, you feel me bad. all the time. Come on. Here's the camera right here. Look at that. My hair. It's okay. There's the camera. <laughs> Do it. Look like I just rolled out crawled of bed. Under a, <laughs> crawled out from under a bridge or something. <laughs> we both look like trolls. Look, it's been a long day. We look a little rough. Got my, got my COVID hair going on. <laughs> Y'all do need to go get your hair cut. <laughs> mm. All right, close this out. <laughs> and that's it for today. <laughs> Hold on there. No, 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 you gotta do it. <laughs> and that's it for today. <laughs> and that's it for today. If you like what you see here, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. <laughs> and hit that red subscribe button before you leave. It's really important that you do that. <laughs> It's really important that you hit that red subscribe button. <laughs> uh, Thanks y'all, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>